Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. So one of the greatest things about the Suron is that it's so durable. But of course, on every single bike, there are some things on the bike that are not so durable. So if you're like me, and you sometimes break things on your bike, the not so durable stuff, then you're probably gonna have to end up replacing them. Hence this video. All right guys, if you've been following my channel, the very first race this year, I completely destroyed my display screen. No. Turn it on for you to see. Yeah, that does not look too good. So I bought this one off of Luna Cycle. If my memory serves me correctly, it only cost me about $23. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing our new display screen on our Suron. Pretty easy to do, should only take a few minutes. So uh, let's get started. All right guys, first thing we're gonna wanna do is turn off the bike, unlock the battery compartment here. First thing we need to do Let's take out these bolts. This battery cover needs to come off before we can take key cover off. Now this is held in place by these two bolts and they have little clips on them. I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, you can see better on this one. But it doesn't have a back. So all we need to do, take these needle nose pliers and pull these right out. Make sure you don't lose these once you pull them out. Oh, there we go, got one. A little trick to getting them off easier. Make sure the open part is pointed directly away from you. Just like that. Like I said, make sure you don't lose those. Right, now all we gotta do is tap these bolts out, slide right out that way. I'm just gonna be using my Allen wrench and I'm gonna shove it through. All right, there are those. Don't lose those either. They'll come right off. All right, now all we have to do, unscrew these two bolts. Four millimeter Allen wrench. All right, we got our two bolts. All right, now this whole cover will come off. Next thing we want to do, if your battery's unplugged, actually I'd suggest unplugging your battery first, turn the breaker off. You can follow your wire if you want to, I'm going to just in case. There she is, that's the one. So we're gonna unhook this bad boy. All right, and there we go. You know what I love about these, um, I actually forget the names of these connectors, but you basically can't plug anything into the wrong place, which is, Amazing, I think everything should be wired that way because, you know, idiot people, you know, like me. All right guys, we're almost there. So all you gotta do, that your screen, and it's obviously not hooked up to your uh, mode that you're in, so we gotta unscrew this from that. Two little screws right in there, and all we gotta do is take those out, should come right off. All right guys, so we got that unhooked. It's all loose. You can go ahead and take it off. Another thing to note is that my screen, when I bought it, didn't come with these screws, so do not lose these screws. All right guys, we got our new screen hooked up. Of course, before you put um, everything back together, let's test it. Turn the breaker back on, and let's turn on the key. All right, there we go. Boom, and she's on. And there you have it, guys. All right guys, well that's it. That's all you have to do, pretty easy. Just uh, put it back together the same way that you took it apart. Easy stuff. Guys, well I hope that helped anyone that's as destructive as myself. You gotta replace your new screen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.